क्लिक ऑन द सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड प्रेस ऑन द बेल आइकन टू वॉच माई ऑल न्यू वीडियो एंड वेलकम टू दिस टोटल दिस टोटल ऑफ थर्मोडाइनामिक्स so you are studying thermodynamics i hope you are well so let's go for the total well so basically today i am talking about open system well i know that we have talk a lot about a closed system we have lot of derivation there but what about open system we'll talk about a uh, more details in this video total well but this video total well is i will not take that much lengthy but yes i will make it more useful more lucrative more intuitive more what more valuable for you okay don't talk too much let's go for the total well so what is basically open system is first of all you need to know what is system so what is system basically anything under consideration or attention anything under consideration or attention and i have already shared with you in my previous videos that surrounding and boundary is depend on the system so system what how basically system is decided anything under consideration or attention suppose that you are watching my videos right so what is system you and this device there is nothing else in the system if you are focusing your attention on this video to or well so other things beyond and uh, just just with you just little bit in distance with you those things are surrounding for you those things are surrounding for you suppose that this is a system for you right why i am denoting by dotted line is there any logic or i am doing this because of okay i wanted to do it no there is a logic behind it because this is a boundary this is a boundary for you so what type of boundary is this this is a imaginary boundary because imaginary boundary is denoted by dotted line that's why i have done this because you have been watching this tot well and there is system between you and the device and other things just in front of you or maybe beyond you are surrounding for you so what is separating you from those surrounding things that is boundary so what kind of boundary is this imaginary boundary now this is about system why well, i don't want to talk much more about the system because this total is all about open system okay so let's go for it so what is basically open system suppose that suppose that there is a saucepan you wanted to make tea suppose that even i don't did not know how to make tea probably you know okay so yeah what we are giving basically we are giving external source external source of heat maybe we are heating this gas by lpg gas okay after giving this external source definitely the temperature inside this pot water temperature will definitely increase isn't it so if temperature will increase what will happen slowly slowly beyond 100 degree centigrade water will start evaporating that means water will go outside because of because of what lightness of that vapor vapor right so what will happen in this way what is happening there what automatically more energy will be here so it will not accumulate all energy so it will transfer it will definitely transfer energy so in the below side they don't have such passes so it, it will definitely contact with the air but yes that is different thing that is that can transfer energy but if if there here also it can transfer energy with the air right here also here also here everywhere because the pot we are taking that is good conductor of heat that means according to second law of thermodynamics heat is always flow from higher temperature to lower temperature i have shared with you because of that phenomena what will happen even this boundary a boundary of the pot will exchange it with the surrounding and here vapor is going outside even heat will go outside and then what i must say here there are two things is exchanging what are those first is mass 
and second is heat which is a form of energy that means if any case energy as well as heat both are transferring from high not higher transferring from let me write transferring from i have to write this mass and energy transferring from from system to surrounding what is that that is known as open system now let me share with you few example what are those example basically first condenser second i must say that turbine third evaporator these are all example of you know all example even boiler is open system if it is not closed these are examples of open system now let me share with you in simple language what is closed system if there is only energy is transferring from higher from system to surrounding that is known as closed system am i fast don't worry watch my all other videos because i have only i have already created one there are many videos in thermodynamics but i have already created about system surrounding types of system that's why you can understand much better way about system all right so the example of closed system is what piston cylinder arrangement without valve all right now the most important thing one of the most important thing i wanted to share with you here only right now what is that that is work done work done in case of open system in case of open system an open system is having another name that is steady work what is that steady work so what is basically the formula for finding out work done in case of open system that is the general formula because every process having different different formula will drive each and every what process okay in my upcoming videos you will get all those things don't worry about that i will drive each and everything for you that's why you can do much better in the examination maybe competition examination maybe university examination maybe you wanted to increase your knowledge am i very fast no don't worry because those things is not that much make sense so the work done the work done for the case of open system for the case of open system is minus bdp work done for the case of open system is minus bdp remember that one the another most important thing i would like to share with you these things are most important that's why i'm sharing with you if you wanted to do draw a pv diagram for dino for showing work done so in case of closed system what we do we use volume axis or x axis but in case of in case of open system what we do we draw that work done diagram in the pressure axis so in the interview they will ask you question that in which axis we can draw this diagram then you can use this so here v1 is equal to v2 you can say this right so it's p p2 and it's p1 okay let's say you can do uh, it, it you can easily do so this is a work done diagram okay for for what for open system in examination or in an, this is a, this is a question they ask in case of interview okay in many interviews i have heard from my friends that they are asking question about which axis so don't say like this or like that don't say it's horizontal or vertical always say maybe p direction or y direction maybe say x direction and v direction that is the that is one of the ethical way to share with you then even interviewer come to know that you are having very good knowledge about this subject all right so this is about open system i hope you got knowledge about open system in my upcoming videos i will share with you more derivation about open in in case of open system how to find out work done i mean there are all processes are there also in open system just like constant volume process constant pressure process isothermal process adiabatic process polytropic process and all for all process i will drive equation derivation that's why you will get knowledge 
you can get good marks you can good uh, good you can get uh, do better in the competition examination all right i hope you are getting help my tutorials if you got help share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel to get more new videos on your dashboard thanks for watching thank you very much bye bye